Okay, let's finish out this problem. Uh, we have found already the linear regression, and that's really all we need to finish this out. Um, we can do everything else from this linear regression. Part C says to interpret the slope. Well, the slope of this problem here is 0.37. Now, normally whenever we see slope, we like to see it as a rise over a run. So let's go ahead and put that over 1 so that we can see the rise and the run. And I'm going to go ahead and write that out, rise over run. Now, what are we talking about in when we say rise? We're talking about the y-axis, or in this case, that would be the head circumference. Um, let me write that out real quickly. And instead of run, we're, we're talking about the x-axis, which in our case would be the height. We can use this then to explain what that slope really means and, and how it's important in this linear equation. We can interpret this as saying that um, as height increases by one inch, these are in inches, the head circumference will increase by 0.37 inches. That's how these things are related to each other. That's what the slope is telling us. Okay, we're done with that part. Now the next part, part D says, predict the head circumference of a child that is 26 inches tall. Well, we have an equation here that we can work with. If I'm wanting to find the head circumference and they're telling us what the height is, we can plug the height in and find the circumference. So part D will say our head circumference will equal 0.37 and instead of H we're going to use 26 because this is a 26 inch tall um, child plus 7.33. And now we can just simply use our calculator or whatever um, to simplify that. So we should get that the, the head circumference would be 16.95 inches. Now in part E, it says what is the height of a child whose head circumference is 17.4. This time they're giving us the head circumference and they're asking us to solve for the height or solve for H. So we can do that also. We can just plug into our equation. 17.4 in place of the head circumference will equal 0.37H plus 7.33. And now we can finish solving that for H. So if I subtract 7.33 from both sides, and we get 10.07 equals 0.37H. And then dividing both sides by 0.37, we get 27.2 inches is equal to H. So a child with a 17.4 inch head circumference should be roughly 27.2 inches tall.